Hi there, Steve Kaufman here. Um, I want to do a little, a little video here in praise of the, the beginner books, the starter books that we, uh, certainly that I often go to when I'm starting in a language. And, um, and I've just been reviewing, for my Russian, I've been reviewing, you know, there's an expression in French, on revient toujours à ses premiers amours. We always go back to our first loves. And when I started Russian, I started with this book here, which is the uh, Teach Yourself Russian book. And now, after four years, I'm going through it again. And it's not the second time that I'm going through it. I've gone through it many times. And I think these little starter books are tremendous value. And I particularly am fond of the Teach Yourself series, but I also use Colloquial. Um, I guess those are my two favorites. And, and I think... The good starter books are small, okay? I think that's the first, the major, you know, quality that I look for in a starter book because I know that I'm going to have to go through it many times and the third, fourth, fifth, sixth time I go through it, I want to be able to go through quickly. So I like them when they're small. The, the second thing uh, about these starter books is that really everything you need in order to speak the language comfortably is, is in this first little book. That's the amazing thing. However, it's impossible to retain everything that's in this book, not on the first pass, not on the second pass, not on the third pass, because you just, at least for me, I just don't have enough connection to the language experience with the language to be able to retain all the good stuff that's here. And that's why I have to keep on going back and going back and going back and every time I go back, I pick up a little something extra. Uh, I like the Teach Yourself book because, as I remember, because I haven't been listening to it again, but there's no English on the recording, which is very important. I hate listening to English. I hate when they tell me in English what I'm about to hear in Russian or in whatever language. Uh, I just want the language. It's got the, the words are translated in here. Any explanations I need are in this little book. Uh, the rest of it, I just want to hear it. Uh, I should also confess that I don't like the Pimsleur approach. I don't like the approach where we're asked to say something. Like in Pimsleur, they ask you a question and you have to answer. I don't want to do that. Some people like doing it. I don't. Uh, I totally ignore any questions or drills that are in this book. All I do mostly is read the little dialogue, read the vocabulary list, skim through the, the grammatical explanations just so that I can get through the dialogue, really. Uh, because I have found that any attempt to try and remember the rules or try to remember the endings is just a, an exercise in frustration. You, you learn it, you, you think you learn it, you spend some time at it, and you very, very quickly forget it. The other thing about these beginner books is they are very important to get started. Uh, even if you were able, and I don't, th certainly I'm not able to retain everything that's in this book, even after the first, second, third time. But the other thing is, of course, you, you need a lot of words. So there's only a limited number of words in here. You know, if you end up at the end of this book with 500 words or 1,000 words, I mean, you need 30, 40,000 words in Russian, in my opinion, because where I end up is, is any con in any conversation or anything I'm listening to or anything I want to say, it's the words that I don't have. If I have the words, but I use the wrong ending or the wrong tense, it's okay. People can figure out what I'm saying. But if I don't have the words, you know, I can't communicate. So the starter books are great. They get you started. It's that those, as I read through it now, I can still hear those dialogues because I listen to them so often. I can hear them. And, and as I read through them now, then I find that I'm, I'm sort of reinforcing things about the language that I have learned uh, or things about the structure that I have learned through experience, through reading the rules 10 times and stuff, and I see it reinforced, and somehow or other, it helps. And the other thing is, no matter how advanced you think you are, and I listen daily to, you know, sophisticated political discussions in Russian, and I understand essentially 99% of, of what's said, uh, there are always little things in the beginner book that you're missing. And you go back in there, and that just helps to fill in the cracks. So I love the little beginner books. I go back to them often, even after four years. 
I go back to them and I get a lot of enjoyment out of doing it. So I just wanted to say here's to the good beginner books and I think the Teach Yourself series is a particularly good series. And now you might say, well, why am I promoting Teach Yourself? I should be promoting Link, which I'm always happy to do. But people who come to Link, particularly if they're at the beginning of their you know, learning experience in the language, we always rec I always recommend get yourself a little book. I mean, even people who buy Teach Yourself, they're going to do other things. You know, the language learning experience, you've got to go out there looking for resources all the time. There is no one solution for all. I think Link is a big part of the picture, but I think these beginner books like Teach Yourself are also a very important part of the picture. Thank you for listening.